Recently, there's been a debate in our government about what is the freedom of speech and what is your right and how can you use that freedom of speech. And there's a company known as Twitter that allows for people to post things that they believe in that reflect how they feel. And recently, our president posted something that reflected how he felt about people who he feels are being, well, frankly, un-American. This is a unique book that I own that says a lot about our country. This is called The World Trade Center, and it's a great book. As you look at it, you realize that the World Trade Center was more than just a place. It was a symbol of freedom, of the incorporation of the United States of America. An idea that not only could we come together as a people, but we could construct together and build something that was monumental for everyone. Some people believe that the Twin Towers were a staple of New York, and many people came to see them because they love them. Some people remember a time afterwards, and some people remember a time before it. Some people remember things like this, because it's not just in the construction of something that some people have a hand in, it's also the deconstruction. The deconstruction of something that took time, a plotting, when people came together and said, for the greater good of all people, we will take this land and we will work together and we will build this for all people to see because we believe that this is going to be monumental and because we believe that this will reflect to the world how we feel. So they implemented a strategy through planning and communication. And when that strategy was put together, they created a model. And this model went from the idea to the building. The building of which many people didn't make it. Some people didn't make it through the construction of these buildings. Some people. Some people built these buildings and were never recognized. Some people. Some people love these buildings when they're built and they work there. Some 3,000 people. And it made our skylight beautiful until some people decided that they didn't like the idea of some people having freedoms like that. And so what happened was is that some people decided to stand on freedom and decided to choke the wind out of freedom by making themselves, through a religious idea, more powerful than people's rights to build something and love something because they declared that their way of God was the right to murder. And those some people did something like this. They did something that some people will never forget. Something that you could never adapt in the time or history. But some people, some people will never forget. Some people care. And some people are still part of this world that love God. And some people that love their country don't believe that the some people who gave these people passports, who trained these people to fly, who took those jets as hostages, who created this mess, who murdered our first responders and their dogs, who created the outcomes in New York City, who laughed at America and said that this is a jihadi way of the Quran, that the Quran makes it so God wants people to die like this. Some people don't believe that because God doesn't believe that the righteousness of God is to make others beholden to them through religion order or religiosity and some people believe that the Quran is a greater coming and a call to order and that it isn't a need for a reflection or an inflection upon others like this and some people still love God but then there are those that are known as other people so I bring you back to 
the conversation of where this all begins. Where do we go from here? Do we run? Do we say that your freedoms are no longer good as people are running in the streets and clouds of dust were chasing them? As flames were rising and people were trying to leave, phone calls were coming in, children were crying, their fathers were not coming home, mothers and daughters were waiting for their fathers, jets were being taken over as hostages by those trained to murder us. Because of some people's right to create some ideas in the land of the free, the home of the brave, the place where our country lives and dies for freedom, some people have that freedom. But not all people, not all people can talk about this. Not the President of the United States. No, alas, the President of the United States is not some people. He is the one person that Congress says, you are not American enough to have your opinion. You are not American enough. Let me ask you, when some people did not emerge, when did it become that the rest of us people had to submit to those some people who wanted us to not have our First Amendment anymore? God bless God in the name of God.